Good Thursday morning, everybody. What I like to call Little Friday, February the 9th. I'm Chris Allen here on the SAM channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. A windy morning uh, here in Southern Kentucky as of 4.53, the current time as I uh, put this uh, podcast together. And the winds are really howling. I can even hear just outside my room here at home that it's uh, pretty windy. I'll look at uh, some of the winds. And there's also a little bit of rain still coming through as you look at radar this morning. Uh, and even one little area that has a severe thunderstorm warning, but it's not severe thunderstorm as you think. As a matter of fact, this is pretty much a uh, wind-driven warning. And that up here around Morganfield, Kentucky, moving into the Owensboro area, that is, let's get the specifics, and this is going to expire here in a few minutes. Um, it's parts of South Central Henderson, Northern Hopkins, Southeastern Union, and Webster counties. Uh, so the, this is moving northeast at 50, 60 mile per hour wind gust, but there could even be some higher gusts. There's no lightning. There's, it's not your typical, uh, severe thunderstorm warning. This is more of a, the winds are gusting so strong within that line there around Seabree, just south of Henderson. Uh, there's Providence, there's Hanson, Slaughters, Kentucky, there's Calhoun, Livermore, there's Owensboro, and all this is up and down Interstate 69, and there's some very heavy rain in there, but the winds, the uh, the upper winds are transitioning down to the ground, and that could cause maybe some li uh, minor wind damage as that comes on through, but it's, so it's not your typical severe thunderstorm warning and all of this is in that line of showers gusty showers remember yesterday i talked about more of the possibility of getting gusty rains or gusty showers and that's what's happening this morning with the winds you know blowing 40 50 60 miles per hour that's what you get now that line is moving toward the bowling green area so it may come in here uh, within the next 30 minutes or so and do the same thing around here. But just note when these severe thunderstorm warnings come out, if any more do come out, it's not your typical severe thunderstorm warning. It's more of a gusty showers. There's no lightning. I've got the lightning turned on. There's none of that convection going on, but there's what we call the dry slot. That is, uh, you got one here, then you've got one back behind it. You've got the low pressure system that is moving into parts of Missouri, and you just get that dynamic of the wind that is coming through, which we anticipated would move in a little bit earlier than this morning, but here it is. It's on us now, so just be careful for the morning drive. It is going to be uh, kind of rough for some of you, especially if you drive a big truck. It is going to be especially rough this morning with those crosswinds and the winds cutting through, uh, and they're southerly winds. So if you're going east to west, uh, that's where you'll you'll feel the most vibration as the winds kind of push against you. So just be aware of that uh, this morning. Let's take a look at the model blender before I get into the uh, specifics of what's going on and what will go on. Uh, just for those of you who just want a quick shot of what's coming, here you go. We go mid-60s again today, and we hit 65 officially for a high temperature yesterday in Bowling Green. That was 16 degrees above the average of 49, and we picked up two hundredths of an inch of rain, just two hundredths. Not very much. Uh, for the most part, I said anything that falls would be less than a tenth of an inch, and it was way down there. Even though these were sporadic showers when it happened. It seemed like it was a little bit more, but mostly it was just drizzle. It was misty rain at times, and it uh, that's all it added up to was 200s. Now, 
with the cold front coming in tonight, we're going to drop into the 30s, upper 30s, and then or mid 30s, and then we'll get into the low 50s tomorrow, uh, 50s for the next couple of days. But that's still above average. Remember, the average is 49. We'll say closer to 50. Then we gradually warm back up. In fact, Saturday's looking a little bit warmer than we first anticipated. If you'll recall, the last couple of days I've been saying it's going to be the coolest day out of the next 10 days. Now that has moved and shifted down here to next weekend. But as you see, we stay in the 50s. This weekend, we go mid to upper 50s. And then there's more 60s that show up Wednesday and Thursday of next week with another system coming in. We're going to warm up and then cool right back down into the 40s as we get into next Friday and Saturday. Uh, rain chances will be in there for sure uh, with some of those big spikes in temperature, as usually is the case. As the days get longer, the nights get shorter, and uh, we get closer to spring. Already feels like we're kind of... <laughs> In a, in, a, in a preview of spring. It's a fall spring, of course. Well, let's take a look at the winds that are going on right now. And the Kentucky Mesonet really does paint the picture here. Look at this. These are the current winds as of 5 a.m. real time. These are not temperatures. These are wind gusts. Look at this. 39 wind gust. Uh, that is in... Simpson County, where the temperature is 62, you see 39, there could be a 40 in there somewhere, but mostly the winds, you see the arrows, everything is coming up from the south and southwest at 20 to 30, close to 40 miles per hour. And so as we go through the morning and for much of the day, I think these winds are going to be like this. So if you do anything outdoors, you're going to be contending with 20, 30, up to 40 mile per hour winds. Wind advisories are still in effect for the entire area. So if you're a farmer, you're a carpenter, you do anything outdoors, even yard work or whatever, this is what you're going to have to deal with for a good chunk of the day. Now, let's check temperatures currently at 5 a.m. Everybody nice and warm in the 60s, low to mid 60s dropping some back here in far western Kentucky into the 50s. That's where the cold front is coming through. And that line of showers kind of out ahead of that cold front. So once that line of showers comes through, that's the cold front with slightly cooler air. Uh, we will probably set our high temperature for the day this morning in the low to mid 60s and then start to fall off into the 50s as that front comes through later this afternoon. So this afternoon is not going to be as warm as it is right now, but uh, most of the rain will be gone and the winds will start to die down later this evening. All right, speaking of winds and rain and all that, let's take a look at the forecast map here. And you can see that wound up low pressure system that is sitting right now about St. Louis it's at 999 millibars, and you can see how, how wound up. These are equal lines of pressure as you go further away from the low-pressure system. But notice how tight those lines are. That means wind, and you can clearly see the cold front right here. That's about east of Jackson, Tennessee, about Murray, Kentucky, the land between the lakes. That's where it's moving through right now. Back behind it, you can see the wind arrows, the little particles here wrapping around the low pressure system. So we currently have southerly winds back behind it, southwesterly winds, and eventually, as I put this into motion, that line of showers is going to come through. The winds will shift. That's what I love about this map. You can see the winds change direction later this afternoon. Here's noontime. All of this should be out of here. Notice the winds come out of the southwest. The rains are gone. We could even see a few breaks in the cloud cover. And see, the lines here are not as tightly packed later on this evening. Now we're getting a more west and northwest wind. That's cooling us down. Here's midnight. Uh, then you go early Friday morning. 
Into Friday, we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds. Not much happening here as uh, the models are keeping us dry. But if you notice, back to the west over Arkansas and Missouri, this is Friday midday. There is a closed low pressure system. It's a very weak system that is going to try to make a run at us by Saturday evening. Okay, that's going to try to push a little bit of moisture in here. Now, this particular model, the uh, high res, we call it rapid refresh, the H triple R, um, doesn't go out that far, but it's right now the most accurate with now casting instead of forecasting uh, this coming through. It looks like we will get a little bit of rain and maybe even some mixed flurries in some places as we get into Saturday night. Sprinkles and flurries as the temperatures uh, kind of get borderline cold enough for that, but it's only going to be in a few areas and it's not going to be that big of a deal. In fact, I can show you that on the map, the surface map here for the next seven days as we show, there it is, I just showed you that on the models, the low pressure system about St. Louis and the cold front about to move through, wound up winds here as this thing strengthens uh, and moves off into the Great Lakes and takes with it the cold front. And there goes the rain showers later this afternoon. And I do think we could see some partial sunshine later on after we get this line of showers through here in the gusty winds uh, later this afternoon. And that's when it's going to start to cool down. Those winds will change direction as you saw, and that's when the temperatures will come down from the 60s into the 50s later this afternoon, then drop into the 40s, into the 30s tonight. Here we go into Friday morning. There's that closed low pressure system, but notice it's not very strong at all. High pressure is going to be do the Pac-Man thing and kind of eat away at it. It's stronger than this low, but there's enough moisture associated with it as we get into Saturday afternoon and evening, as it crosses over western Kentucky, western Tennessee, there will be enough cold air behind it for that little layer of mixed precipitation, maybe a few snow flurries there. For us, it keeps it mostly light rain Saturday evening and into Saturday night, Sunday that thing is uh, east of us and not a big deal for, for us for the remainder of the weekend. Then we go into Monday. High pressure takes over. We're seeing sunshine even to the beginning of Tuesday. Then we're going to see another chance of rain. A front moves in, stalls right across the Kentucky-Tennessee border, pumping in the Gulf of Mexico moisture. Heavy rain and thunderstorms, probably severe weather in parts of Texas. Arkansas, Louisiana, the typical places. Uh, for us, it is just going to be rain until that front comes on through. And then yet there's another system that falls right behind that one for Tuesday and Wednesday that'll come in probably next weekend. So a never-ending uh, parade of systems coming through, but uh, as far as major severe weather, uh, severe weather none of that major winter weather, none of that, no big spikes in temperature. I mean, we go up into the 60s, fall back into the 50s for the most part, which is about 50 is about where we should be. So we're, we're continuing to get this up and down transitional uh, wave of systems coming through. That's pretty, actually pretty typical for February. That's not to say we're not going to have maybe one more big shot of winter weather, and I'm not at all saying winter is over, but as these days, the days continue to get longer, the nights are shorter, as we transition from winter to spring, this is what you get. You know, it's a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. So, um, or a WYSIWYG. Is a WYSIWYG? Yeah, WYSIWYG. It's an acronym for what you see is what you get. Anyway, there you go. I'm um, headed to the radio station, Sam 100.7 this morning. 
I've got more tickets to give away to uh, the championship rodeo, Lone Star Championship Rodeo, for the Sunday afternoon show. I've got more Sinatra and Friends tickets for Orchestra Kentucky Saturday night. I got I've, I've got several more coffee uh, cards to give away for five free cups of coffee from the Good Stuff Coffee and More, which just opened right next door to Lost River Pizza Company. Uh, listen for your chance to win at any time during the show, 6 to 10, this morning. Sam, 100.7. In the meantime, hold on to your steering wheels this morning. Extra Aquanet or gel in your hair, maybe even some clay, just to uh, <laughs> to hold it all together. And just be careful this morning with the winds that are out there. <clears throat> God bless you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the radio.